So today's video is going to be very different from videos I've done in the past. Basically, I was scrolling through my camera roll uh, this while I was just sitting on the sofa just now, and I came across some footage of a Bothy trip that I went on maybe two years ago, or just under two years ago. It was January 2022, so where me and three friends embarked on a nice little trip to a Bothy. If you don't already know, a Bothy is, is a little homestead in Scotland, which is kind of a maintained shelter, it's like an old farmhouse in the middle of nowhere. No electricity, no running water, no heating. Sometimes you're lucky to get a fireplace or a wood burning stove. Luckily this time we did. And it's all looked after by uh, sort of a, I don't know if it's a charity maybe, called Mountain Bothies Association, that kind of group of volunteers that look after all these properties dotted around the remote parts of Scotland. And we, me and one of my friends who, who's on this trip as well, went to this Bothy pre this summer previously uh, in scorching heat and we, re we really liked the location we thought, you know what, this would be really cool if we came here in the winter and it was just cold and a bit gnarly and um, we decided to go this winter, we invited two more friends with us and what you'll see is the, is the videos that I actually gathered along the trip and I think it'll be quite interesting for you to see just actually when I talk about the hard experiences that I've been through and this is probably one of them that's kind of up there with uh, you know looking death in the eye and thinking right if I don't switch on and pull through here then I'm I'm gonna die in the middle of the highlands and I just thought it was really cool that I still have some of the footage from that it's not the greatest footage and this is I was probably 18 19 when I recorded this so it should be quite interesting to to have a look through this footage and see just what my what I was like back then and just to see me actually on a trip out in the Highlands. Something I definitely recommend to wherever you are in the world just to go on some sort of long adventure, hiking through nature uh, with a group of friends. It's a great experience. You'll you'll come across tough times, especially if you're as terrible at navigating and planning as we were back then. And you really you bond with the people you're with and I feel like we speak a lot about brotherhood in this sort of self-improvement space, this masculine self-improvement space. There's a lot of talk about brotherhood and this is a great way of forming that brotherhood. It's just going out into the middle of nature and just battling the elements. At points the rain was going sideways right in our face. It snowed, the rivers were in spate, we almost drowned in a river. So. It was good fun, a uh, very long, arduous walk in the highlands, peat bog, a couple of boys actually fell into some of the massive bog puddles um, and we had to pull each other out, bearing in mind that these puddles are the same puddles that wild animals often fall in and drown and don't get out, so it's not just like a little splashy puddle like that, there's like deep, like swallowing puddles in the middle of the highlands. So it's a great adventure, um, I wasn't able to capture all of the trip, I was just able to mostly the walk in uh, and you'll see the various stages of that and I do a few bits to camera when, I, when we're at the Bothy, firstly when we arrive and then the second day when we spend there and there's a couple of footages, a uh, couple of videos on the way out where it's a wee bit, it's like snowing and everything and uh, we'll show a little bit of the car journey on the way home um, but I'll fill in the blank spaces and stuff to, to keep you engaged and tell you exactly how this experience was. So the last bit just before we go into this video, on my website confidenceacademyonline.com there's actually an ebook called The Most Impactful Stories of My Life where there's actually a couple more Bothy experience stories so I'll put that as the first link in the description so if you click that you can uh, get that access to that book and without further ado let's get into this adventure. already because it's walking I don't, don't like walking but start the video Hell. I'm recording a vlog I'll uh, I'll catch you up along the trail because it's gonna be a long sort of six hours of me just on my own because those boys will be ahead so stay tuned uh, we're at the end of some big boggy forest with some rivers and that so just about to get out of the woods and then should be on a 
decent track after. Enjoyable. Alright, fucking tarmac. There we go. That's us a mile and a bit in. Is that right? And it's pushing it down the rain. So, it's gonna be like five miles to iron lodge and then we cut off. I'm seeing you. Alright, we're a wee bit doing the track now. Me and Ethan. We're about to walk past some some lovely coos. I can't even turn the camera around. These are big bastards. You don't want to get trampled. Alright, I'll show you them as we go past. I can edit this bit out. Oh. I need to brush up on my coo. Alright. Yeah, I know. There's one of them stuck. Hold on. Stuck like. That one's teasing. Oh man. Yeah, it's when you look, see when you look at the at the hills, it looks like they're going backwards. Oh, uh, yeah, just could does. be the dehydration, but. Uh, oh shit, you have to do it. I think we're about, what, a quarter, quarter way in or something. Or well, we were when we stopped. We're so probably, yeah, uh, maybe a third ish. So I've not actually said yet, but we're going to Malvu, Bothy, one that I've been to before. Um, but last time it was in the middle of summer. So now it's obviously raining, but uh, nah, we're, we're planning to stop shelter in Iron Lodge and get a wee bite to eat because it's currently I think one o'clock almost half one. Um, we last ate at like, I think it was ten we stopped for, yeah. for lunch. <laughs> so uh, nah, good trip so far. Beautiful views. Vistas. Alright, uh, we're about a quarter of the way. Trip. Fishing it down the rain. <laughs> uh, uh, there's not really much more to say. Just good progress. Shout out thought. I think the one thing that all these miserable long trips teach you is just the value of consistency over a long period of time. Because no matter how long you take still gonna get to the end journey but consistently moving forward is the way to do it. So every time I come out here I think about that. Uh, I don't think that's iron lodge. I can't actually remember, it's been a while. But uh, yeah consistency over a long period of time, one foot in front of the other. It's like waking up doing one thing towards your goals every day. It's productive and you'll get there. Probably come back to you when we're at uh, Iron Lodge. We've got some deer. Right, oh. we're uh, approaching Iron Lodge. Here, let's just have lunch here. It's not raining. It saves us. I'm not uh, trekking down to the, the lodge there. Did go to Iron, we went to Iron Lodge eventually. Aaron split up in the other bag of logs. Uh, it's a bit of a shit, shit heat. Uh, what was it? Four, four miles? Aye, four miles. So I can take anything from two to four hours <laughs> for us. Uh, yeah. Spooky. So. I, I can't hack this, eh? Just one step at a time, eh?
This is probably, well this is the first sort of exercise I've done in about a month after my concussion, so <laughs> it's not fair and well, I think that much for free. But uh, yeah, at this point it's all just mental because I've been to this spot before, so I just got to slog through it. Yeah. One eternity later. Right, we fucking made the bossy. Somehow. Long story short. When we were uh, pistol. Almost died in the river right before the bossy. And uh, never again. <laughs> Come back tomorrow. Right, we've been sitting in the Bothy pretty much all day. It's in the background, I don't know if you can see it. Um, but it's starting to snow. So, tomorrow's walkout might be interesting. Um, what I didn't actually explain last night was, because I was just really tired, is the walk-in was very eventful. It was very disgusting. So we basically got to the high point on the, on the trail after one river crossing which was already it was probably knee deep or something uh, but we managed to get through that one okay but then obviously the light went away we had to get torches and stuff out uh, so we we're coming down and then we get to a bit where we need to cross a river but instead of crossing the river because we had to cross the river just across that same river back we just contoured it round to the right and then we were basically walking all the way on bog for about an hour and a half in the pitch black um, Ethan got his legs stuck in a bit of bog, had to pull him out. Uh, then we went, I think Aaron fell in the bog as well at one point. And then we went round down to, we finally intersected the path, we got onto the path and then we managed to follow the path all the way to the Bothy, but just before the Bothy, uh, you might hear the river. Uh, there's a river right in front of the Bothy, but it was in full spate and uh, it, was bit, it was too dangerous to cross that bit. So we, had, we went up, stream and then we went downstream to try and to try and find a better place to cross and we found somewhere that looks somewhat shallow down at the bottom uh, and we walked walked across like right next to each other so we're, like basically holding each other's hands um to try and get across and uh ethan's we had a bag of logs uh, and like a carrier bag and the bag filled up with, with water and the current was like going all over the place and we're almost like falling over the top of each other so uh, we'd be, he had to let go of one bag of logs uh, and we've not let let him let go of that all day uh, but yeah basically if, if he didn't let go of that logs then he was away down the river floating in the middle of the night with no torch and no way to, to, to see us or anything so um, it's a good thing that he did let go of the logs because we've still got another two bags full of logs and the fire's going just now, it's lovely um, but today it's just been sitting about in the bothy all day um, the rivers went down, I probably already mentioned that, but the stars are out at the moment. I can't really see them because I'm blinded by my by my torch. But uh, yeah, we're planning to just go at first light tomorrow, get back. Really hope the snow doesn't pile up too too deep. We'll uh, probably get some photos and stuff in the morning, I'll do a bit to camera. But uh, today was just relaxing, so it's probably the only bit of meat you'll see today. But uh, yeah, I'll uh, film a bit more on the walkout. Uh, you might see a bit of snow. Um, our, the camera's not quite good enough to <laughs> be able to take a picture of the stars, um, but they're here, so take my word for it. Anyway, I'll uh, come back to you in the morning. No, I think it's just a
Right. So I was going to say that's fucking rad. <laughs> <laughs> right, it's the morning we're leaving. Um, there's snow all over the ground and stuff. I'll see if I can. I don't know. Let me try to get out of the window here. Watch out. Can see it's like on the ground and that. So I'm probably not going to get the phone out at all today for any bits of the camera. So next time I speak, I'll be in the car on the way home. I agree.